Joshua Eccles was diving as part of the Emerald Charter in Jupiter, Florida, when a lemon shark kept bumping into him to get his attention. This was out of the ordinary for lemon sharks, but when he took a closer look, he noticed what was wrong. The lemon shark was asking for help. Like this video to help it reach 10K, and don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to Wonderbot Animals. When it comes to sharks, it's important to separate the myth from the truth. There's no denying that sharks have a bad reputation due to sensationalized stories, generalizations, and stereotyping. They're known as dangerous killers that will eat anything you put in front of them. And they have a preference for human flesh. However, that's not really the case. While it's true that shark attacks have occurred, and they're horrific, sharks are killed by humans far more than humans are killed by sharks. The demand for their fins has led to overfishing and illegal fishing, greatly reducing shark populations all over the world. What a lot of people don't understand about sharks is that they are essential to the marine environment, and they should be respected and protected. Now, it can be difficult to shed the negative and untrue beliefs we've adopted about sharks, but it's also important to understand the full picture. As with all wild animals and predators, sharks can be dangerous and aggressive. However, they don't hunt humans, and they much more prefer fish. Shark attacks almost always have explanations, and they're often accidents where sharks get curious about movement in the water, or they confuse humans with prey of similar size, such as seals and dolphins. This is why shark attacks are rarer than a lot of people believe. In fact, getting struck by lightning is a lot more likely to happen. According to the statistics, there's a 1 in 500,000 chance of being struck by lightning, and a 1 in 3.75 million chance of being attacked by a shark. The reason people believe that shark attacks are common is because when they happen, they are scary and they make a lot of noise. The truth is that sharks are not evil, and they don't have a predetermined instinct to hurt humans. They're just predatory animals because they're at the top of the marine food chain, and they have innate instincts. Most people who work with sharks and experienced divers will tell you that sharks are actually quite docile. When they approach humans, it's often out of curiosity. And sometimes, it's because they need some help. Joshua Eccles is an experienced diver and a professional shark handler. In March of 2017, he was swimming in the Atlantic Ocean with the Emerald Charter in Jupiter, Florida. Now, one thing that divers and shark handlers do is keep their distance. They're very happy to observe from a distance, but every once in a while, they will have really curious sharks come up to them. This is where it's important to have training. An approaching shark is not an invitation to touch or grab them as if they're kittens. So, when Josh was enjoying his dive with photographer friend Chris Mattiford, they came upon a shiver of lemon sharks. Now, curiously, one of those lemon sharks was working very hard to get his attention when it noticed them. The shark was very persistent, and it kept bumping its nose into Josh. Every time it swam by Josh, it would bump into him a little more. Now, in his experience, lemon sharks can bump into divers, but never that frequently or persistently. It was clear that something wasn't right. Josh, sensing that the lemon shark needed something, decided to take a closer look. The shark let him get closer and inspect him. When Josh lifted up the shark's stomach, he noticed that something was poking out of it a little. It looked like a hook. Showing no fear at all, Josh decided to help the lemon shark and remove the hook. It was the size of Josh's hand. And as soon as he removed the hook, the shark swam away. Its relief was very clear. The lemon shark would return to Josh several times. And at one point, it swam right into Josh's video camera. He believes that was the shark's way of saying, Thank you for helping me. Josh looks back at that moment as an incredible experience to be a part of. It was a tender moment when a wild animal gently asked for help, and he was happy to provide that. What do you think? 
Would you have helped a shark in pain if it asked you for help? Let us know in the comments. Lemon sharks are non-aggressive towards humans, but they are known to bite or attack if they feel like they're being threatened, which can be said of virtually any wild animal. Sadly, they're the most common victims of commercial and recreational fisheries because there's high demand for their fins and meat. Additionally, their thick skin is also ideal for leather production, so that's another reason. As a result, they're listed as near threatened by the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. This list indicates the health of biodiversity and extinction risk. Near threatened means that the species is not yet vulnerable, but it is inclined to be threatened with extinction. Now, that wasn't the first time that Josh removed a hook from marine life. However, it was the first time that he helped a shark. But ailing sharks are not uncommon. One time, diving instructor Brett Johnson pulled a knife out of the head of a nurse shark while swimming off the Cayman Islands. Vincent Cannibal, the owner and operator of Epic Diving, a company that organizes shark expeditions year-round, also encountered a shark in trouble in one of his dives. It was a dusky shark, and you could tell right away that it was injured, but these sharks are very territorial, so it had to be handled with care. At first, the shark was very shy around the divers, and it didn't even come close to them as some of the other sharks did. In fact, he went away very quickly. Two days later, Vincent was diving again with an expedition, and the shark came back. He would later be named Atlas. In that particular expedition, there were five oceanic white tip sharks around, so Atlas joined the group. At that point, Vincent could see how thin the shark was and he also noticed that Atlas had a rope embedded in his flesh. The rope was wrapped very tightly around the shark's body, so much so that it was pinning down one of his fins. Based on how severe the injury was, Vincent and his crew guessed that Atlas had been wearing the rope for at least a few weeks. They all agreed that they had to do something to help the shark, but they didn't want to put the group at risk. So they got the people back to the boat, and then Vincent was joined by Deborah Cannibal and Amanda Cotton to attempt to cut the rope off the shark. Atlas came right up to them, and he slowed down enough to allow Vincent to cut the rope using shears. When it was cut off, the shark rolled over and unwrapped himself. As soon as the rope was off, everyone on the boat cheered, and Atlas stayed by the boat the rest of the day, so people interacted with him when they jumped back into the water. Now, Vincent was familiar with stories about divers who help marine animals that seem to ask for help, and they even show gratitude, or what we interpret as gratitude. However, this experience wasn't like that. It's not clear to Vincent that the shark was asking for help. He thinks he observed the divers for a while, and then once he determined that they weren't a threat as the other humans he had surely encountered, he decided to come closer. It was probably a comfort that other sharks were around, and they were comfortable around the divers. Vincent and his crew understood that trying to cut the rope off of him would be risky, but they were also certain that the shark would die if they didn't help. A month later, the epic diving team was back in the water, and Atlas came up, looking a lot healthier than the last time they saw him. The wound made by the rope had healed significantly, and he had gained some weight. Atlas became a regular, and he showed up almost every day for the rest of the season, which was very lovely to see. Vincent looks back on it and calls it one of the most rewarding experiences in his career as a diver. The fact that Atlas came back to the boat every day, and they could see his healing process was very rewarding for him. So, do you think sharks are as bad as they're made to look? Let us know down below. That's it for us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe.